welcome to the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. Here's the latest seafood news for the week of November 18th, 2013. The Japanese Hokkaido River Chum Salmon Fishery opened in late August for the fall fishery. Peak harvest is expected over the next 3-4 to four weeks with a projected run of 37.94 million fish. This fishery is one of the largest runs globally. In comparison, look at the recent Puget Sound record-setting run of 2 million fish this year. Early season catch estimates were low at the 130,000 metric tons. As of November 14th, total catch to date is just over 129,000 metric tons. Catch estimates have been revised with an expectation of over 40 million fish with an average fish size of 7.6 million, 7.6 pounds. The Hokkaido Federation of Fisheries Cooperative Association reports strong domestic demand with Japanese companies turning to domestic chums as Chile and coho prices are high. Even with strong domestic demand, Japanese processors will look to export surplus production. The three major export markets for Japanese chum salmon are Europe, the United States, and China. Trade to all three markets is closely monitored by government authorities in the wake of the 2011 Fukushima nuclear disaster. The USA FDA has a long list of aquatic species that are banned for import to the USA as they are banned in Japan. Migratory salmon is not included on the list. Refusal of entry to the USA is still possible if poisonous radioactive elements are detected upon examination. There are rumors that the FDA is considering a ban on Japanese chum salmon, but as of yet, they are unconfirmed. The EU requires testing for radioactive contamination and certification for Japanese salmon entering the EU market. It's important to note that the EU requires catch certificates for imports of all seafood products. I will touch on that in just a moment as it plays out it plays an important part for USA companies. China implemented a ban on Japanese chum salmon immediately after the Fukushima disaster, which has sub subsequently been lifted. Despite the ban being lifted, importers in China say importing Japanese chums is a very slow process. One processor we spoke to says it takes up to three months for product to clear as the fish goes through many tests. There is concern from Chinese processors about a possible FDA ban on Japanese harvested chum salmon. Processors don't want to be holding inventory of products that cannot be exported to foreign markets. This concern is preventing many suppliers from buying volumes of product at this point. In general, Hokkaido supply can put pressure to lower overall chum prices. In this instance, this is not the case as chum salmon prices are firm and rising. Getting back to the EU catch certificate requirement and what bearing it has on U.S. imported products. Currently, many salmon portions and fillets enter the USA as product of China, with the catch area of the raw material often not marked. Because raw material for these products come from the USA, Canada, Russia, and Japan, buyers should exercise due diligence and know what you are getting. Thank you for joining me for the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. This is Robert Ryerson. Buy smart and eat more seafood.